welcome to today's vlog. Today is a very busy day, not sure how the vlog will pan out as we go along. I've got a gig where I've got to kind of do two gigs in one. I'm playing for a wedding covering a gig for a colleague of mine. Um, I'm covering kind of playing a jazz set in the afternoon and then playing for a function band in the evening. I don't normally like doing because it it's a lot of playing. It's only an hour away though from home and it's in a beautiful part of Norfolk, just south of King's Lynn. So, looking forward to that bit. My replacement 2017-18 practice planner has arrived. So in a moment, I will get that one taken down and this one marked up today. It makes more sense to have a new one. But before that, I need to get a little bit of practice done for today because really playing isn't practice, well it is and it isn't. But I also need to find some reads for this afternoon. went through a phase when I changed this mouthpiece last year of going softer on reeds and since I've got this uh, reflector I'm trying to aim for less volume better sound I said it in this vlog here about going back to the blue scale when I was on a gig about what a difference it made playing with the reflector and being able to hear myself realizing that I wasn't having to push as hard <laughs> No, I'm not happy with that one. By the way, big happy birthday to my mentor, Bramford Marsalis. What a guy. I mean, I've done several vlogs, particularly this one here, about when he was at the Barbican. Just phenomenal input on my life. And yeah. Bramford's one of these guys. I. I've always, I always think of him as a great musician first and a saxophone player second. There are some people I think of as great saxophone players first. I'm not going to mention names because it's just going to upset people. But Bramford's definitely one of those guys who, yeah, I think of as a, as a phenomenal musician who plays the saxophone. And that's kind of, I'll never know, maybe to get to phenomenal, but certainly what I aim for, which is to be a, a great, you know, to be a better musician than I am a saxophone player. Um, keep working at music, which is... I always think cuts through with non-musicians better than musicians. I think musicians value technical um, proficiency and uh, you know kind of all the fireworks like the Giant Steps video. Uh, whereas I think non-musicians and, and other musicians as well. But I find if you really want to cut through to an audience, you need to be a really, really, really amazing musician, not just an amazing player. Oh yeah, that's a nice read. Oh. One slight problem I failed to realise that because this starts in September, but there's only a few days away, so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with this. I feel like I want to frame it or something, or keep it somewhere. I'll certainly take a photograph of it, uh, you know, just to try and see, and also to demonstrate to myself how much this actually worked, how much it m allowed me, motivated me to practice, um, was just doing it every single day. Like, the original idea came from uh, the guy who wrote Frasier, he said, I just write comedy every single day. I just do it every day and then the magic somehow happens. It's not magic, it's the practice. I've got to admit, I need to get better at doing different strategies. It's very easy to get bored when you're doing it every single day. Uh, you can get into routines or you can only practice your strengths. It's important to work on your weaknesses as well. I want to get packed away. I want to catch the Formula One qualifying and then I have to head to this gig. So I'm going to um, get my gear packed away. On the way to the gig, Going past one of the most uh, strangest places named, oh my goodness me, what are you doing? Uh, it's one of the strangest places in Cambridge called Six Mile Bottom. 
I kid you not, I will try and get it on the video in a moment. So the gigs will take me about an hour to get to. Great to see Lewis Hamilton equal Michael Schumacher's record in the Formula One this morning. It's afternoon, it's afternoon. And one of the things I want to do is go to the Belgian Grand Prix. So when my son's a little bit older, I said we'll do a proper camping trip and keep talking about it. We'll get there eventually. I think I literally just missed the six mile bottom sign. I am very sorry. I will try and put it on a map for you now. There you go, I wasn't telling a lie. Pretty nice place. Through there. Just need to go and find where we're setting up. It always feels a bit weird when I'm not doing my own gig because I do so many of my own gigs. I kind of know how to set my band up and everything. So it's always a different etiquette depending on which band you're playing with. It's 24 degrees outside and they've put us in a room with a fire. So, finish the jazz set. Check out this tree house though, it's incredible. Look at it. Marquees just don't kind of get rid of the air like a normal room does. So um, I'm feeling a bit today. That fire was actually lit so they could um, spit roast. They were spit roasting uh, meat, so guinea fowl, uh, what else was a chicken, and uh, quails all over there. It was fantastic. Really lovely food, lemon ease food apparently. Um, so yeah, so just kind of killing a little bit of time uh, before we play the uh, second and third sets of the evening. I'm not quite sure how we're going to make this into a vlog, but I'll see what I can do. Um, beautiful, beautiful surroundings. Finished the gig, wanted to do a piece as I left, but then I've had no fuel. I literally have now zero range in the car. I've been going through a forest. I've gone past three closed petrol stations. Well, thankfully, Waze has found me one I hope that's open. Otherwise, you'll be getting a vlog of me doing the night in a forest. Now I can see the petrol station up ahead, I hope. Green lights of salvation. <laughs> I can go home. Oh dear. So I filled up. Also got myself. I would have loved a coffee, but the problem is, I know with me, if I'd had a coffee, it would have kicked in round about the time I was getting home and wanting to sleep in about 45 50 minutes. So on the Ribena. And I hit the road. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a different vlog today. Um, I wasn't gone a vlog, but I thought such beautiful surroundings uh, for that gig. It's worth doing. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing and I'll see you very, very, very soon.